I got a comment from a viewer on another video I did about feeling intimidated by people. And he commented that he intimidates other people and wants to know how to respond, how to get people to warm up to him. And so I commented back and said, what is it that you think is the reason you intimidate people? And he he didn't respond. So I'm guessing that it has something to do with either looks or success or intelligence, something that makes you larger than life, something that people look at you like, oh, and they're just immediately taken aback, intimidated. They don't want to approach you because they're nervous. You know, like the most beautiful girl doesn't get invited to the prom because everyone thinks she's already got a date, that sort of thing. So what do you do to make people feel at ease if you fall into that category? And it could be that you don't say enough <laughs> because people are elusive and more mysterious when they don't talk a lot. So if you're quiet and you have one of those qualities that I described before people, oh, they're immediately thinking, okay, I don't know how I can possibly approach this person. Like you're trying to walk up to a movie star or something. I'm not saying not that bad, but you, you get the drift. It's like they, they're doubly intimidated because you don't talk much. So they, they think you're this person that's maybe aloof and you've got all these qualities. You're just super good looking or you're so smart. You're so successful. And you're like, so people are going to stay away. But here's the, here's the thing. You should immediately engage other people, get them to talk, get them to open up, ask questions, find out about them. So they know that you're really interested in them as a person. And then they immediately feel more comfortable and they get past the layers and they realize, okay, you're just another person. You're not all that. You're just, just like them. And that's what you need to do. So smile, engage with people, talk to them and really get past the small talk, really find out about what makes them tick, not being, in, and as I've said before, don't be interrogating, just, you know, ask questions and reveal a little bit of information, not personal, real personal information, but you know, little tidbits like, like the movies you like, where you like to go, that sort of thing. So that they find out about you, that, that you are just a regular person. Try it and really, really smile. I, I, I've gotten that before. People think that I'm like, like not really friendly if I don't smile. So I make a point to smile a lot when I talk to people, especially on the phone, because I get that on the phone. People think, oh, that you're not friendly or you're not uh, really wanting to talk to them and you're in a bad mood if you don't smile because a smile does come across in your voice. So I try to smile more, especially with people I don't know well. I mean, you don't want to say like that, but you do want to smile more so that you appear more friendly because it may be that you're just talking about something serious. You've got something on your mind and that's why you're not smiling but make a point to smile more and that makes you look more approachable too.